Good morning. This is Pastor Gabi with a little surprise for you. This is our first ever virtual Easter sunrise service. So let's begin. Christ is risen. Christ is risen indeed. Let us listen to words from scripture first. Mark 16. When the Sabbath was over, Mary Magdalene, Mary the mother of James, and Salome brought spices so that they might go to anoint Jesus' body. Very early on the first day of the week, just after sunrise, they were on their way to the tomb. And they asked each other, Who will roll the stone away from the entrance of the tomb? But when they looked up, they saw that the stone, which was very large, had been rolled away. As they entered the tomb, they saw a young man dressed in a white robe, sitting on the right side, and they were alarmed. Don't be alarmed, he said. You are looking for Jesus the Nazarene, who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him? But go, tell his disciples and Peter, he is going ahead of you into Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. Trembling and bewildered, the women went out and fled from the tomb. They said nothing to anyone because they were afraid. A prayer for Easter. God, empty tombs and risen Lord, stones that have rolled and resurrection. For some, it is easy to believe. For others, it is just daft. But for most, we wonder, we wonder what might be possible. And God, if love is the greatest power in the universe. We wonder what might be possible. If love chooses to carry on loving, even those who try and kill it, what might be possible? And if love decides to give of itself for the sake of others, what might be possible? So in our wonder, and our longing for such a love as this that changes things. May we dare to believe in what seems impossible and dare to live impossible lives. That hope beyond death, but believe in life before death. May we live this kind of love that dares to work for justice and the fullness of life for everyone. Dare to work for peace and the fullness of peace for everyone because we believe in love, which has become the most powerful thing in the universe because it gives of itself. God, May we make time this season of renewal and life to wonder and wonder what love might make possible in us. Amen. Another Easter prayer. We praise you, living God, with songs and prayers and listening hearts and lives trying to obey your will. You have created and are creating, bringing life and hope and love. You come in Jesus, your word made flesh, to reconcile and make new. In a culture where death gets all the headlines, your Holy Spirit summons us to be people shaped by your power to work resurrection. 
We are not sure we believe as fully as we think we ought. We are not sure we trust as deeply as we think you ask us to. But we bring who we are and what we have become into your presence, longing to know your grace and your love. Forgive what has gone wrong. Repair in us what is broken. Reveal in us what is good and turn us toward it. So may we follow wherever your spirit may lead. So may we love with the love of Jesus flowing through us. So may we, body, mind, and spirit, be children of resurrection, children of hope, children of grace. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen. And in closing, we pray once more. Risen Christ, when darkness overwhelms us, may your dawn beckon. When fear paralyzes us, may your touch release us. When grief torments us, may your peace enfold us. When memories haunt us, may your presence heal us. When justice fails us, may your anger ignite us. When apathy stagnates us, may your challenge renew us. When courage leaves us, may your spirit inspire us. When despair grips us, may your hope restore us. And when death threatens us, may your resurrection light lead us. Amen.
Receive the benediction for today. Do not be afraid, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by your name. You are mine. When you go through deep waters and great trouble, I will be with you. When you go through rivers of difficulty, you will not drown. When you walk through the fire of oppression, you will not be burned. The flames will not consume you, for I am the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, your Savior, is with you this day and forevermore. Amen. <laughs>